is really an exciting premiere. The whole film colony has turned out to welcome a most unusual and appealing movie star, Casper the Friendly Ghost. Here he comes now. Hello, Casper. Would you mind stepping up to the mic and telling your fans how you got your start in animated cartoons? Well, uh, you see, uh, I like animated cartoons very much, and I always wanted to know how they make them. So, I came to Hollywood. For sure. The cat grabs some bread. Makes like a mouse sandwich. Yeah, yeah. And the mouse, the rat, makes like this. drawing is made in a different position. Here, watch this. <laughs> You're clever. me an idea. Let's feature him in a cartoon and we'll call it Casper the Friendly Ghost. And that's how I got into animated cartoons. Thank you very much. Now, Casper, it's with the utmost pleasure that we ask you to place your footprint with those of the great stars of the screen. Go 
ghost's foot doesn't print. of you, young man. Oh, dear. Thank you, Sunny. My, what will those toy manufacturers think up next? Just a minute, young fella. Don't you know you're supposed to be in school? I'm the truant officer. Now, you come along with me. All you kids are alike, playing spaceman instead of learning your ABCs. Now, children, there will be a ten-minute study period. <laughs> Who wants to study when you can have some fun, huh? how well you studied. How much is two plus three? Hmm. Well, if you added them all up together like, that would be two plus three, and if you carry the two, that comes to the... Gee, why does she always have to give me the tough ones? Here's a little fellow I found playing hooky. Now, young man, since you missed this morning's arithmetic lesson, you think you could do this problem? was excellent. You may take the seat at the head of the class. Why, that big show-off! Nobody's gonna be smarter than me.
stop playing. But you children certainly have grown since recess. And where is that child who was wearing the space suit? Hey, teacher, look! A flying saucer! Oh, my! Move in. Move in? <laughs> I uh, said something funny? Yeah. If you go in there, you'll come out so fast, you'll knock yourself down going in. They got a dog? Nah. A ghost. You're crazy. There ain't no such thing as a ghost. Well, Walter Wowie thought otherwise. Uh, who's Walter Wowie? He runs a real estate office in town. One day, a fellow comes into the office and says, My name is McGregor. I would like to find a tenant for my house. Oh, what sort of house is it? Mansion, 31 rooms, 15 baths, 100 acres. Type of tenant desired? Ghost. How do you spell that, please? G-H-O-S-T. You're, 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 you're serious about, about this? I am. Oh, 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 one moment, please. <laughs> but, Mr. Wowie, did you realize what he said? This man is the crackpot. A ghost for a tenant. It's the craziest thing I ever heard. Tag Nabbit, did you ask him what type of ghost? Male, female, old, young, fat, thin? Miss Mildew, we have a client outside, and you're keeping him waiting. But, Mr. Wowie, how do we find him a ghost? Remember our motto, Miss Mildew? A man wants a ghost for a tenant? We find him a ghost. You see, Mr. Wowie, I am going to Scotland for a visit. A ghost in my house would keep people from breaking in. By Godfrey, that's right. A ghost would be better than a caretaker. Exactly. And since the ghost would be doing me a service, he may live in the house rent-free. That's a mighty fine proposition for a ghost, Mr. McGregor. Mighty fine. The question is, can you find me a ghost? You're doggone tootin' again. Very good. I shall sail with a clear mind. Bon voyage! He's crazy! He's a client. How are we going to find a ghost? Why, we advertise, Miss Mildew! Advertise! Ah, help! Help! Oh, you're crazy, too, Mr. Wowie! Morning, sister. Ah! In reference to your ad in the morning paper... <laughs> I understand you're looking for a real 100% genuine ghost to live in a mansion. Now, don't tell me you're a ghost. No, but it could be arranged. Ah! <gasps> Mr. Wowie, there's no such thing as a ghost, and you know it. Ah, but if there were ghosts, where would you find them? Why, uh, in a haunted house. Precisely. Hello there. Anybody home? Murder! Hello, hello! Blood! Dang, blame it. Come on out. I've got a business proposition for you. Boo? Howdy. Uh, ain't you scared? Scared? 
<laughs> You're nothing but a ghost. Uh, I must be slipping. Now let's get down to business. You know the mansion on the north side? Uh, yeah, nice place. Well, it needs a ghost to haunt it. Think you could do the job? Could I? Just try me. Not so fast, young fella. How long have you been in this haunting racket? More than 50 years. See my hash marks? Well, I don't know. I'd like someone with a little more experience. Say, with at least a hundred years under his shroud. Please, please. You don't know what the housing shortage is for us ghosts today. Look, the, the roof leaks. The, the windows are broken. I'm f f f freezing all winter. Please, give me a chance. Well, all right, Johnny. I'll put you on probation. Yahoo! Thanks! And that's how the McGregor Mansion was rented to a ghost. Very cute. You scare away all the Lodge brothers and keep this cozy little shack all to yourself. <laughs> Great story, buddy. But there's one itsy-bitsy thing wrong with it. Yeah? What's that? Very simple. There ain't no such thing as a ghost. You no, know, you could be right at that. Stimed his reading a mother goose. Give me my book. Hey guys, how about us paying these mother goose characters a frightful visit? A ghoul idea. Thanks for the inspiration, Casper. I've got to go to Mother Goose Land and see what I can do. Mother Goose Land. Good folks, welcome. <laughs> Golly, sounds like someone's in trouble. Uh, I'm Casper, the, the friendly, friendly ghost. ghost. Can I help you? I'm little Bo Peep. I've lost my sheep. Three horrid ghosts scared them away. I should have known. <laughs> That's little boy Blue. The ghost opened the gate and let out his sheep and cow. <laughs> Listen, it's coming from the top of the hill. Why, it's Jack and Jill. Gosh, we're sorry it got splashed. Oh, that's all right. What happened? Three ghosts scared us by the well. Yes, mean ghosts. Yow. Uh-oh, sounds like more trouble. Bye now. Why, it's Jack be nimble. What happened, Jack? Well, just as I was going to jump over the candlestick with... I know the rest. Those bad ghosts booed you. I'll say they booed me. I never jumped so high before. And when I came down, I tore my pants on the candlestick handle. Gosh. Do you know someone who could sew you up? Sure. A girlfriend of mine. Let's go see her now. Okay, let's. Boy, am I mad. Little Miss Muffet, we were just coming over to visit you. Visit me? I've been visited already. Three horrible ghosts scared me off my tuffet and then stole my curds and whey. I'm furious. Curds and whey? What's that? Oh, just some milky water and cheese. <gasps> this stuff ain't very filling. Well, we got it for nothing. What's next on the scare program? We gotta find someone to scare soon, or we're gonna lose our ability. Characters of Mother Goose Land, I've called you all together to hear Casper's plan. My friends, this is my plan. 
If you all try your best not to appear scared when the ghostly trio come to scare you, they may give up and go home. Sounds good. We'll try it. It might work. I just hope they don't come to me. I might get awfully scared. Land sakes. Me too. Now how can we scan? Hey, look, the black mouth. <laughs> scanned the clock and the mouse couldn't be wider. No, 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 sorry, Casper. I wasn't the least bit scared. Well, they won't scare me. <laughs> they scared the wall away. We're not getting anywhere, Mother Goose. I know, Casper. If you don't think of something to drive away those ghosts, I just don't know what we'll do. I have another idea, but I must get a friend to help us. Don't be away long. Wendy, I need your help in Mother Goose Land. The ghostly trio are raising mischief there. But what can I do, Casper? Use your magic powers. I learned once the ghosts are afraid of giants. This is Wendy, a good little witch girl. May she borrow your goose to make a little switch? Of course she may. A switch? Boop. Abracadabra, half a quart is a pint. But now I'll change a goose into a big, friendly giant. At your service, Wendy. This is going to be our biggest scare. Huh. Howdy, fellas. A giant! A lake! There's no boat here! Only this old tub! The tub has a hole in it! How stupid can we get? We forgot we can fly! Come back and visit us soon. Thank you, Casper and Wendy. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thanks for your autographed book of Mother Goose stories. Bye!